Empowered Spirituality. July 25, 2013. Greetings, dear ones. How pleased and honored we are to be in your presence today. We honor you for making the commitment to come and anchor the energies of the group and we also welcome those new to our information who will be enjoying it both now in the room and on your internet at a later time. You have done a remarkable job of moving forward through the first half of this exciting, new, unprecedented, energetic, linear year. You have been experiencing alignments and energetic events, one on top of the other, with an intensity that has not been seen on your planet thus far. And despite what you may be thinking, you are doing it magnificently. We understand that it comes with its temporary challenges but dear ones, hear us when we say that these minor inconveniences are, as you would say, small potatoes in the grand scheme of things. You are adjusting brilliantly. So you finally, we would say, have gotten your legs underneath you in the energies of this brand new age. We understand that it has taken a while for you to even get to a point where you are feeling in line with the new energies, feeling comfortable, feeling like you just may know what you are doing in terms of navigating such unprecedented energetics. They are far more complex than you realize but please know that each and every aspect of these energies is working in your favor. One of the most profound things that you have experienced of late, has been your astrological alignments that have been forming sacred geometry in the skies. This is affecting each and every person on the planet and your beloved Gaia as well. We have spoken of these geometric alignments in the past. They are incredibly helpful and supportive. They are allowing higher energies than you have ever experienced before to pour into your planet, so, of course, you are feeling this. You are shifting with this, your physical bodies, your energy bodies, your way of doing things, your thought processes, your memories, all of it is coming together to move you forward in this amazing dance of creation that you are all taking part of. So where does this lead you? What does this all mean? What you are creating on your planet is the energetics of empowered spirituality. This is why so many messages have been brought forward from so many different sources about the importance of stepping into your authentic power and out of your victim consciousness because the template of the victim consciousness, to a great extent, had been created by theologies that were based in separation consciousness. You saw yourself as being separate, you saw yourself as not being worthy, some belief systems had you believed that you were even born a sinner and would stay a sinner your entire life. What an incredibly disempowering thing to say. Surely if you've ever looked at a beautiful newborn child, you have seen that they are a pure, innocent, aspect of source, blessed and miraculous in all ways. This is an example of the beliefs that have been forced upon you in the name of spirituality. Sadly, it was about controlling you, it was about keeping you obedient and, of course, those energies are simply no longer being supported as you continue your spiritual evolution. Many of the old theologies achieved compliance from the masses by ensuring the leaders got richer and the followers got poorer. It is difficult to feel empowered if you are barely eking out an existence, yet some churches encourage this, letting you think the poorer you were, the more devout you were and the more worthy of God's favor. It encouraged the martyr paradigm that said that if you are good you just give and give and give until you have nothing left to give, and the truly saintly never asked to receive anything. You certainly weren't worthy but if you didn't complain, if you did as you were told and towed the line, if you were lucky, a vengeful God would take mercy on you. You were encouraged to see your life as a cross to bear. If you stepped out of line with any of these expectations, you would be persecuted in the most barbaric ways or at the very least shunned by others. The churches limited the information it shared, hiding many secrets that threatened the power of the few. This model simply could not go on because it is based on separation consciousness while the new energies are moving the planet into unity consciousness. It is from many, many generations of living this way that you have adopted belief systems that are now asking to be dismantled. The beauty is that the energies that you are in today no longer support the hiding of facts. We have spoken of the importance of your internet for the ascension of your planet. With the free flow of information, dear ones, 
its secrets are no longer being supported. So we are seeing energies that are creating transparency and integrity. If you are incongruent, if you have a mask that shows one thing to the world and behind the scenes things are completely different, it will be exposed. It is with the openness, transparency, and integrity that you are now holding that you will be embracing new, unity-based faith systems that are designed to empower all. Your technologies are creating a global community, supporting unity consciousness with the free flow of information for all. Further, the more you embrace your divine nature, the more you will be finding all the information, guidance, and answers you seek from within, for your own evolution and to share with others, so you will have access to whatever you need from many different sources including yourself. As you move forward into your unity consciousness you will understand that no matter what faith a person follows, it is okay. You will not make people wrong for their faith or for their beliefs, in fact, you will be able to celebrate others in their beliefs and celebrate your own as well through the practice of acceptance and allowing. You will know that each person is the expert of their own path and will follow the path that best suits them and what their soul wishes to experience. Because you will not be threatened by difference, your own belief systems will not be threatened either, since they are coming from an authentic, empowered place. You do not need to make someone wrong to make yourself be right any longer. You can simply accept the divine perfection of it all at any given moment. Further, you will be free to openly celebrate your own divinity in whatever way feels most authentic and joyful for you, and you will be completely safe to do so without fear of judgment or persecution. So, as we talk about moving forward in the new energies and creating the new earth, co-creating in this brand new age, we are asking you to let go of any old religious beliefs that no longer honor or support you in moving forward in your authentic power. Let go of the idea that you are separate in any way from source or unworthy to ask and receive whatever you require to live a life that best expresses who you really are. Dear ones, how on earth do you think you can live an empowered life expression if you do not receive? The new energies are supporting balance. They are asking you to be the change that you wish to see. We are asking you to find and celebrate your own divinity and allow it to shine forth as a beloved piece of source and an honored creator of this brand new age. We are asking you to not only lift yourself up, but to lift others up, as well. That means letting go of fixing or rescuing others but rather encouraging them in their own authentic power. It is about sharing information, it is about sharing love, it is about sharing your advantage. It is about understanding that there is more than enough for everyone. It is about letting go of lack-based consciousness. It is about seeing yourself as being healed and whole and divine, and seeing others as being healed and whole and divine, as well. You are the human beings of light on earth, that is who you are. Anything that suggests you are less than that is illusion and these new energies are stripping away those illusions. You wonder how much more can there possibly be that you need to release? We would say you will keep releasing until you find your enlightened core until you embrace your glorious truth, your own divinity. You are releasing everything that hides that beauty from yourself and from the world. What a beautiful practice and blessing that is. So give yourself permission to heap your plate high at the buffet of spirituality with whatever feels wonderful to you and leave the rest behind, and if others come behind you and pile their plates high with what you left behind, know that is what is perfect for them at that particular moment on their unique path. If you simply embrace who you really are and allow your light to shine and practice acceptance, allowing, surrender, faith, flow, trust, gratitude and unconditional love, you will be anchoring every energy required for the planet to move fully into enlightenment and you will have done what your soul has waited millennia to experience. We cannot put it any simpler than that. And that is what we wish to share with you for today. Archangel Gabriel. Channeled through Shelley Young. TrinityEsoterics.com